Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. Do you think TikTok should be banned? In this video, we're going to look at arguments for both sides of the debate on whether TikTok should or should not be banned. Recently, lawmakers in several countries around the world, including the United States, have escalated efforts to ban access to TikTok, a massively popular short-form video app that is used by more than 150 million Americans and is owned by the parent Chinese company ByteDance. In the past few months, several countries have already instituted bans for government officials on government devices, and some universities have banned the app from being used on their network. But the bigger debate is the efforts of the government within the United States to advance legislation that allows the president the authority to ban the platform entirely in the United States. Let's go ahead and dive right into the debate, starting with those in support of banning TikTok. Those who support banning TikTok point to the concern that TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance, put sensitive user data, including location data, into the hands of the Chinese government, thereby creating a national security threat. They also point to the power and influence that the Chinese government has on TikTok. They point to laws that allow the Chinese government to demand data from Chinese companies and citizens for intelligence gathering operations. In addition, they raise concerns over the possibility that the Chinese government could use TikTok to spread misinformation, propaganda, and influence overall viewpoints, opinions, and elections within America. Lastly, those against TikTok point out the harm that TikTok has on the younger generations that are using the app. Those within the ages of 11 to 26, which accounts for 60% of TikTok users, have been directly linked to decreased attention spans when the app is used for more than 90 minutes a day. From the other side, those against banning TikTok raise a different set of concerns. They believe that banning TikTok violates Americans' First Amendment rights to freedom of speech. They believe banning TikTok has the support of politicians because they do not have the ability to censor TikTok, which currently allows citizens to communicate their ideas openly without suppression. They also argue that the ban on TikTok is a larger ploy orchestrated by Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, to eliminate their competition. They point to the Washington Post report last year that Meta hired a GOP consulting firm to swing opinion against TikTok to deflect political ire away from Meta. Next, those against banning TikTok argue that the issue about data privacy is invalid, stating that data that is being collected by TikTok is collected by other tech companies according to several investigations. They argue it is unfair to single out one app to ban instead of creating a system that manages the data privacy challenge. Therefore, they believe that if China wanted the data, they could just as easily purchase it. Lastly, they point to the impact that banning TikTok would have on small and medium-sized businesses. 5 million small and medium-sized businesses use TikTok to reach their customers, not to mention the 7,000 TikTok employees in America who would be affected by the ban as well. On March 23rd, Shou Chu, the CEO of TikTok, testified before Congress to address concerns about TikTok amid efforts to ban the social media app. He shared four commitments. Number one, TikTok will continue to keep safety, especially for teenagers, a top priority. Number two, TikTok will continue to protect your data from unauthorized foreign access and that American data will be stored on American soil by an American company overseen by American personnel. Number three, TikTok will ensure that it remains a platform for free expression and that it cannot be manipulated by any government. Number four, TikTok will be transparent and give access to third-party independent monitors to keep them accountable to their commitments. So what are your thoughts on banning TikTok? Please comment below and like and share the video to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Illustrate to Educate and check out more of my videos to the right.